A lot of people had that reaction. It's being called the most problematic iPhone bug ever. It allowed FaceTime callers to eavesdrop conversations in group chats. All right, here's an example. Let's say, for example, I FaceTime one of my sons and then added another person to the call before my son answered. I would be able to hear whatever my son is doing without him even answering the phone or realizing his call had been picked up. All he would see is the option to answer the call. All the while, though, I can hear him. The bug was publicized Monday and Apple has already disabled group FaceTime. We tried to replicate the test in the newsroom earlier today. Luckily, we had no luck, so now we can verify Apple has disabled the group FaceTime feature and no one should be able to eavesdrop on your conversations anymore. But if you're like me, just want to be extra cautious, you should disable FaceTime on your iPhone, iPad or MacBook. Let's do it together, all right? For your iPhone or iPad, you go into the settings bug, you see it right there, and then on the left side, scroll all the way down until you see your FaceTime. Click on that, and in the upper right hand corner, all you got to do is slide that button off. You should be good to go. On your Mac, make sure to quit FaceTime completely. An iOS update to fix the bug is now in the works, and guys, listen to this. The bug was actually discovered by a 14-year-old Arizona boy earlier this month who tried to FaceTime his friends to play Fortnite. So you got a billion dollar company with some of the smartest technological minds on the entire planet. 14 year old in his room playing Fortnite figured it out. Thank the God. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> for video games and teenagers. This one is scary. Yeah. I have a feeling right? somebody will be calling him for a job. Right, exactly. <laughs> Thank right. you, Chris. Yeah. Well, if you want to see something verified, you want us to verify, reach out and let us know about it at verify at kgw.com.